The shooting out here at Mount Tabor High School was the second school shooting in North Carolina this week. So today, Governor Roy Cooper came to Winston-Salem to meet with the sheriff, the DA, the police chief, all to brainstorm ideas of how to make our schools safer. One idea that the superintendent said they're floating around is banning bags just like this one, instead opting for a clear bag requirement. That way they could see if a gun was being smuggled onto campus. Just one of several possibilities discussed today. This is a painful time, and it's a time for us to, to come together to comfort each other, but it's a time for us to collect our resolve and to do everything we can to redouble our efforts to keep our schools safe. Governor Roy Cooper joining Forsyth County Law Enforcement and the District yeah, Attorney and saying that all ideas are on the table to prevent violence in schools. Options after school is over. A lot of, lot of two parent working homes out here and there's no one back there watching the child in sixth and seventh grade when gangs can very easily persuade a child in sixth and seventh grade to come follow their lead. And if a child enters a gang in sixth or seventh grade, we've lost them, folks. Also under consideration, metal detectors at the front doors. That is a, a pretty dramatic step to, to put metal detectors in schools, but I think you cannot take it off the table. There may be particular schools and particular instances where you may want to do that. So I think that you have to be ready to use any tool that you have to make sure that that schools are safe. The governor says he'll press the General Assembly for more money towards school counselors and extra teacher training to recognize potential threats, all in an effort to prevent other schools from losing one of their students. He was a great, a great kid and very much loved by his parents and and teachers that interacted with him. The victim's mom also met with local leaders and sent a message for the sheriff to pass on. Today, she said, Kimbrough, tell the mothers to love on their babies. Because I didn't get a chance to tell my baby I loved him. She said, and tell the mother to tell the babies to put the guns down. Because it's senseless. It is near impossible to make sense of the senseless, but that is exactly what law enforcement has to do right now. This investigation is still active, so they're staying pretty tight lipped about what they know about that suspect and why and how this happened. They say they do not want to jeopardize the investigation or more importantly, the prosecution and the justice for this shooting.